Christmas bell. But good morning. Happy Vlogmas Day 8. Today I was sitting on the couch. And by the way, this is a neck massager. I don't know if it's our mattress or what, but once in a while I will wake up with like, you know, you know, I'm starting to feel my age. <laughs> 31 going on 32. And I feel like if you sleep the wrong way, plus I do, I kind of sleep like this, but this side of my neck, I get a ton of neck tension headaches and I know it's this side because this is where the pain is and it radiates to the front and then it just like ruins the whole entire day and then I also do have a slight degree of scoliosis which probably might contribute to that a little bit but anyway that's beside the point I probably I wanted to say good morning and hello I was gonna do wrap Christmas presents with me when kids go to bed but then I remembered that there's a small town near the equestrian center we went to where they did the drone show they're having a Christmas Day parade today, so I want to take the kids to that and then also do the drive through Christmas drive through The Trine Equestrian Center does a Christmas drive through so I figured since both are within the same area and we're going to be driving out that way, just kind of do two things at the same time. So that's kind of what's on the agenda for today. Hopefully that works out. If not, then we'll wrap Christmas presents. We'll see. I've come to the conclusion that I'm only going to do 12 days of Vlogmas because... Wait, this is off. I feel depleted is the word. It's like the perfect word to describe how I feel. I don't vlog every single day and I feel like people that do vlog a lot frequently or every single day or upload videos, it's it doesn't seem like a lot of work because you're watching the video and it's not necessarily, I want to say it's hard because I know I've worked, did, done internships at when I just was, when I was finishing school for accounting. I did an internship for an insurance company working five days a week and your body is on a schedule where you wake up and you come home at the same time but it's like no matter what bad day or not however you feel you still got to go to work you got to do the work here it's definitely a lot more flexible in that sense um, for sure 100% so I do feel like working outside the home is it's a whole different environment atmosphere and all of that but just getting videos up every single day and especially for me I'm definitely more of an introvert <laughs> believe it or not I know that we here I are here on YouTube but I'm definitely more of an introvert I feel like constantly doing these things and just all of this it's like depleting my energy do you know what I'm saying I don't know if that makes sense to anyone I could totally be making it up but that's just how I feel personally so I feel like I just need a moment just like a moment you know like, I feel like introverts know what I'm talking about, where they just need a moment to, like, not be around people, just be by themselves, and, like, re-energize. I don't know if anybody else feels that way. If you're an introvert, I'm an introvert by nature. Just always has been. My husband's, like, an extrovert. He will, he just loves social environments and all of that. I kind of get anxiety with social environments, believe it or not. And here I am on YouTube showcasing my entire life to hundreds of people. The irony, but I feel like I, introverts do well with YouTube, whereas my husband is an extrovert and he's, he can't like, he feels so weird filming himself and like on YouTube he just, it's not his thing, so that's why you don't really see him, um, but he is like a major social butterfly, you, you'd never know watching our videos, you'd never know, he is always talking to everyone and their mom and just finding stuff out, having conversations, he's a great conversation person conversationist fun little factoids so the kids are doing homeschool right now i'm gonna go start on eloise this is probably my favorite blend so far this is the reindeer blend it's somewhere out of california and i feel like this one i would actually repurchase so that's the nice thing about 
trying the bean box is because you get 12 days of different coffees sourced from across the United States from different roasters. You might fall in love with one and then end up repurchasing it, which I would definitely repurchase that one. It's really good. It's like a medium dark roast, so it's not super dark. It's not light. It's like it's perfect. It's it has like the tasting notes, the tasting notes that I really really like. Um, so yeah, I'll probably pick up the camera later on today. We might be getting our house plan back today. Also, I wanted to give a little update on that. I was going to do like a full blown video of what's going on with that, but there really hasn't been much. The last video I have is probably in June or July when we were clearing out the land a bit. My husband has been going to the land here and there to kind of, you know, clear things out and do things there. There's not much he can do, but the holdup has been a house plan. And I feel like I've always dreamt of building my own home. It's just always been a dream of mine, but I've never actually like looked at house plans that are going to be my own or our own until this year and then when we got the land the land couldn't really accommodate the house plans that i really liked i just i like the split bedroom house plans they're kind of typical nowadays i feel like you see them a lot where you walk in you have the foyer um sometimes you'll have like a office with french doors oh, so beautiful to the side and then you have like the open living room dining room and kitchen and then you have the split bedroom so you have like the kids on one side this usually only lasts for two minutes which means i've been talking two minutes too long um and then on the other side you'll have like the master the laundry whatever things like that and then you might have a bonus room so those are the house plans that i've always loved they they're just simple but i love i don't know i love them Whereas our land is very sloping, especially the driveway, and then it kind of slopes to the side. So it doesn't slope back, it doesn't slope down, it slopes to the side. So when you're going up the driveway and you're up there, it slopes to the side. So we needed a very particular house plan that could accommodate that because my husband didn't really want to spend a lot of money bringing in land or soil or anything like that. He wanted to kind of work with, is it topography of the land? <laughs> Just work with the land the way that it is and try to find a house plan so we found two one of them was too big uh, another struggle was trying to find a architect that could tweak what we wanted we went through two architects kind of got quotes and stuff one of them ghosted us completely we had him come out to the land seemed like the nicest guy ever so nice met the kids we were just chatting it up for like maybe an hour and then he said he'd get back to us and we never heard from him again my husband tried reaching out never heard back i don't know what happened there Another architect was way out of our budget. So then we ended up going with a designer who my brother worked with and he's based out of Greenville, South Carolina. He can draw up a house plan for you from scratch or he can work with, you can just tell him what you want. We had a house plan that we really liked online. We didn't buy it, but we showed it to him. We told him what we wanted to tweak and all of that. And he said, sure, very, 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 very affordable. Um, seems like a really, really great guy, very knowledgeable as well. We met him at his house in his office and he gives you three revisions. So we received the house plan from him and it was a little bit too big because the house plan that we liked, it had the bedrooms in the basement since we want a walkout daylight basement because our land is sloping so it just makes sense. So what we ended up doing is putting the bedrooms upstairs by adding the bedrooms upstairs and moving a few things, it really added a little bit of square footage more than we wanted. So we've been basically kind of trying to sit and figure out how can we make it smaller, but yet still functional. Like a lot of house plans I see, there's so much open space where I'm like, okay, where's the linen closet? Where's the coat closet? Where's this? Where's that? Like what is the point of me having all this this huge space and then I don't have anywhere to stare my store my kids craft stuff or you know towels and bed sheets and all of that so we tweaked a few things and we should get our first revision back today so we'll see we've just been kind of stressing a little bit about that that's been kind of like how i didn't realize that we would have this much of an issue when it came to the house plan but we do you need to like finalize everything when you're working with either an architect or a designer because let's say you want to move a sink later on down the road like your builders need to know where the sink is going to go for plumbing so you need to figure out everything the size of your windows where they're going to be like literally every little detail so it's just been that part hasn't been fun i'm not going to lie um i haven't been enjoying it as much as i thought i would but it's an exciting process and it's a privilege and it's a blessing to be able to even have these discussions so i 
trying to keep that in the back of my mind instead of the fact that oh my gosh this is so frustrating because you know there's like the, like I said this is even a blessing that we're even doing this and in the future this is just going to be just a thought that happened enough chatting that's my morning chats welcome to tosh chats tosh coffee chats i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys in a little bit i changed the sheets today it's laundry day so i had some new ones come in and i wanted to show you guys those i kind of upgraded the sheets to be more Christmassy, and i am loving it almost everything you see here is from amazon that's from amazon that's from amazon previously i had this one here for the fall season it's like a burnt orange brick red um that's actually from home goods the comforters from amazon and then i got some new sheets in and they are so cute they're like these flannel christmas 100 percent cotton queen set sheets they do come in king as well and a few other prints but they are so soft i feel like changing your sheets and the pillow covers is just a great way to kind of update for the holiday season like so cute let me know what you guys think i'll leave it down below but I really love this combo it really fits like the colors of the room and they're so soft cannot wait to sleep in them there's nothing like freshly washed sheets when you get into bed it's like the best feeling ever someone loves the new sheets we got don't we because they're nice and soft and cozy to sleep on look at that coziness to be a cat i tell you standing up close by the christmas tree Glimmering light, I am right where I want to be I'll be home for a couple of days Wander around with you You and me in the cold, thought in heaven All right, y'all, we are all ready to head out to the Christmas parade Made us a coffee to go We used that little cup with a cute little reindeer sleeve How cute is this? And yes, I am missing a nail So I'm just trying to find my coffee 92.9. It's this right here. It's Christmas. 92.9. It's gonna be Christmas music. Oh, that's why they do the radio station. It matches the light show, guys. I love how they did that. Outside snow's glistening. It's just you and me tonight. I'll spend all this Christmas with you. Such a charm, got you up in my arm. There's nobody at the door. You said, I wish this will never be over. Darling, it's time for your present. Come over here. Now it is time to get out in the snow. Lighting a light with you. Choirs will sing and the joy bells will ring. Oh, what? Trying a question center. So we did not make it to the parade because I accidentally mixed up the times. On the infographic, it said December 7th at 6. I read it like six times, and I guess my brain registered it as 7 p.m. instead of December 7th at 6 p.m. But we just came from the light show, and that's probably the coolest experience ever because the radio station is tuned to the lights. So we decided to stop by the equestrian center since it's right here anyway so I'm just gonna maybe like walk through this is where we went ice skating there's i don't think there's really much going on here right now yeah, most of the things are closed right now yeah like. but they do have ice skating and then like their winter fest most of the stuff is on the weekends but it's still really pretty here like everything is decked out and beautiful they have music playing so i don't want to get flagged but this is where we went for their opening night where they had the drone show look at that gorgeous ornament globe it's so beautiful especially when you walk under it the door you said i wish this will never be over darling it's time for your present come over here now it is time to get out in the snow lighting a light with you choirs will sing and the joy bells will ring testing out some toys <laughs> my 50th, 50th birthday well you know that's that's doable 50th we got a ways to go. Got, got, we got some time to go. Climbing into these cozy flannel sheets. My hair is so nasty. I just applied it here. See, so I don't really feel like it looks even greasier. 
as it dries out. Just wanted to clock out for this vlogmas and kind of close it out. We got our house plants today, so my husband and I are gonna sit here and we got the, this is our first revision. So we're gonna sit here, there's a few things that we still wanna tweak and kind of go over. We have two more revisions left, so we're gonna sit here and do that and I'm gonna edit the footage to have this ready for tomorrow, but I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out and I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow. It's just you and me tonight. I'll spend all this Christmas with you.